Hi YouTubers! Well, what's been happening this week? Well, in London, at the Southbank University, there's been a Freshers' Fair going on. Um, in the Freshers' Fairs, they basically set up stalls uh, of various societies that you can join within the, you know, the university. And uh, the Atheist Society within that, uh, within that university uh, set up their stall, just as, no doubt, the various religious fractions did. And uh, they left their stall and came back to it the next day for the fair. They'd been set up. Um, and they'd left a poster there, which uh, you will see now somewhere. And there it is. Right. Now, they came back the next day and the poster was gone. And um, not being deterred, they decided to go off and, you know, print another poster. Well, whilst they were doing this, they were told that they were no longer allowed to put this poster up. They objected upon the fact that genitals are on display, even though it's really from the Sistine Chapels and the Vatican. Um, and of we all know that, um, you know, that's a very famous sort of picture. But of course, it's been doctored and um, it's got the flying spaghetti monster in there. The good old atheist flying spaghetti monster sort of thing. And... Um, well, um, they said, right, well, we'll just sort of mark, mark out the genitals. They said, no, actually, no, we're not, we're not doing it for the genitals. Um, what we're doing it really for is the fact that it's, uh, it's a religious symbol uh, and you, you're, you're defacing religious symbolism. And uh, even though this particular poster really has been around for years, I mean, the flying spaghetti monster is not something new. It's always been that sort of alternative church for atheists. And we are told by religious people constantly that, um, you know, atheism is a religion. And I know it's a bit of fun. I know it's not real. No, no, actually, I don't know it's not real. It could be real. 99% sure it's not real, but that I can't disprove it. So, hey, I can't disprove it. But there are things about the Flying Spaghetti uh, Monsters Church that I, I really think is fabulous. Um, first of all, um, it's got a real profit. It's got a real profit, of course, in, in the sense of Charles Darwin, um, who um, prophesied many of the things that uh, came about um, and we experience within the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. To, to prove my point of realism, um, if you were to take, say, this £5 note, which we call an Elizabeth Fry, because uh, it's got Elizabeth Fry on the back, um, if you were to take this note and exchange it with somebody um, and say, I would like to swap this for a Charles Darwin, um, then you'll find that uh, you've made a profit and so, yes, it is a profit type of church. However, that's real proof you can make a profit, you know. Uh, the thing is, another thing about the uh, Fly Spaghetti Monster Church. Now, let's say it's a very fair church. Uh, it lets you, for instance, give donations. And you can give donations to the church. But what it requires you to do is if you take this £10 note, always also known as a Charles Darwin, um, and say, I'm going to give this to the church if the flying spaghetti monster you know, promises me something in return. And what you do is you place your um, £10 note upon the table, God, get these beeps over. place it upon the table, and you pray on it. Pray upon the £10 note. And the great thing about this particular church is um, that if, if your prayer is not delivered within half an hour you can get your money back fantastic um some people say this is a subsection of the church the uh, pizza ferians um but you know these things happen uh, there's the past ferians and the pizza ferians um it's a sort of offshoot of the church i suppose um both probably just as valid anyway here's my point well, my point is, fancy borrowing from another religion. I'm sure it's never done be, been done before. And um, that's disgraceful. To think you can, you can borrow some idea or some imagery from a religion and put it somewhere else. Um, if you look at some of the early pictures of Mithra, for instance, uh, what was assumed as the Magi delivering gifts, in fact, comes from a Mithra cult. But there you go. Um, if you look at Easter, for instance, uh, based upon the goddess Esther, or Esther, 
It was an Anglo, what well, she was, an Anglo-Saxon goddess. Um, we ought to go around moaning about that, didn't we? Um, well, we won't because there aren't many Anglo-Saxons around uh, that still believe in that sort of thing. There are probably a few. Uh, but um, this has been around for years. This imagery has been around for years. And suddenly they've discovered it. And thinking, what is this? They're taking the piss. Yes, we're taking the piss. Well done. Um, we're taking the piss, but we're taking the piss for a reason. The reason is, is to show you how some nonsense um, is accepted. It may not, uh, you may not accept your own nonsense um, as nonsense, but you would accept another piece of nonsense as nonsense. And that's the illustration of it all. And uh, I basically think they've shot themselves in the foot here a little bit because uh, not long ago we had the uh, Jesus and Mo debates that a university stopped uh, the same sort of thing, freshers, from uh, holding their store because they were wearing t-shirts with Jesus and Mo on it. Um, and a cartoon, um, which they said would be extremely offensive. Now that actually went um, into a ruling, as it were, and uh, it was ruled that uh, they were wrong to stop these people wearing such t-shirts. And we must have freedom of expression. Of course we must. Um, how can we ever debate anything without freedom of expression? Um, it's, otherwise we're just going back to blasphemy laws, aren't we? And uh, really that is exactly what you would need to stop these people saying what they want within the university. They're not doing any harm, were they? Were they doing any harm? No, not really. Who's going to be really offended by that? Um, if you don't believe it, then you take it and you go, oh, it's a bit funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit, these lot are a bit weird. And in fact, a lot of people think that, but it's not really offensive. And if you are offended by it, well, tough. As I said, I'm not really allowed to swear anymore. I've got to watch the swearing. Uh, it's not because I'm collecting money for anything, but um, I will tell you in another video. Um, I might swear a little bit. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, tell me what you think. This Pastafarian church, eh? Ah, I'm sort of a member, really. I'm a member of the Pastafarian church. I just don't realise it. You know, I probably haven't been saved yet by the, uh, the flying spaghetti monster. Um, but, uh, you know, I haven't been born again within the um, faith. Perhaps it's because I, I swayed us slightly too much towards the faiths of the curry-based products. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I sometimes find too much pasta can be a little bit overbearing. Um, anyway, peace for now and uh, just report and there will be more videos coming up soon. I'll speak to you soon.